Hi guys, if you are not a fan of IPS snake plant with thin leaf, this video is for you. There are some common mistakes that people might be making with their snake plant. So I'm going to explain what these mistakes are and how to avoid making them, as well as giving you amazing tips to get your snake plant thriving. Our watering snake plant is probably the first common reason why people struggle with the plant and end up killing it. Snake plant come from an arid climate and are used to long period of drought, not give the plant too much water. It doesn't like to have wet feet. Only water your plant when the soil is dry. Make sure you check the soil before watering. This plant really needs to be only water when needed. When it's not actively growing anymore, you will start to see leaves growing limp and mushy together with a grass yellowing and fading of the leaves. Plant might also develop brown spot under the leaf, which look really unsightly. Check the soil of the plant by sticking your finger in the soil a couple of inches deep. If it feels moist, then leave it for some days and check again. The most common mistake you may be making is keeping your snake plant next to a cold drafty window. The snake plants are used to being in warm environment, so they will not do well if they are placed in a spot where there is a cold draft. Then you will notice that the leaf on the plant starts to go limp. You may this for a lack of water and give it some water. This would make the problem worse as you will be overwatering your plants. So you will have an unhappy plant on your hand. The snake plants don't do well in temperature below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Another mistake that will really damage the health of your snake plant is missing the leaf. Missing the leaf on your plant increases the humidity around the plant. Anyway, missing the snake leaf increases the risk of fungus and rot developing on leaf and leading to several other health issues. The last common mistake is you may notice that the leaves of your snake plant are thin and looking a little stretched out. The snake plant is not getting enough sunlight. If you want a plant that looks full and vibrant with nice big sickly, put it in a spot that gets more light. This is stretch out appearance on the leaves happen because the plant is stretching itself out in search of natural light. An ideal spot indoor is a west or south window. If you have a south facing window then consider putting your snake plant in front of it. They will do fine in medium to low light condition. You just won't see lots of fresh growth during the summer. When you move your snake plant to a brighter spot, the leaves that are already thin, so you will need to wait for a new growth. Pruning your plant is one of the best things you can do for it. When there are damaged leaves, pruning is essential. The best time to prune your snake plant is during the growing season of spring and summer. You would avoid pruning your snake plant during the winter. The plant is not actively growing and if we take leaves away from the plant, this is going to stress the plant out. So we may have problems further such as pruning or yellowing leaves. If you have a plant that has thin leaves and you think look ugly, then just simply cut it out at the base of the plant or the soil line. This will encourage your plant to send out fresh new growth. It's easy to get more snake plant from a single plant. All we need to do is divide the plant up into smaller plants, put them into some soil or water, and they will grow on to be their own larger plants. This means you will have lots of snake plants in your home for free. Hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next green plant guide video.